Welcome back to Merrill Math. I'm Mr. Merrill, and today we are constructing a rhombus with a given side length. So for these problems, you will need a few things. You'll need a compass, you will need a straight edge, you will need a pencil or something to write with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to use the side length. Now sometimes when these problems are given, they tell you to use a given side length but you can't use the given segment. So what we have to do is very carefully set up our compass so it's the same length as this uh, given segment. And we're gonna make a point that we're gonna start with. So we'll call this point A. So this point, we're gonna take our stick point and make an arc down here. Let's make an arc up here. <clears throat> Now, throughout this entire thing, we're going to keep the uh, compass set to the same length. So you have to be careful about that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to set the compass to the side. Be careful not to lose your measurement. I'm going to make a line segment here through this arc. Now, it doesn't matter where it goes through. Um, so we're just going to make a line that goes across. So now we have segment A here where this intersects. Uh, let's see, I'm going to name this, I'm going to probably call this ABCD. So I'm going to call this point D. So we have that. So we have a point up here that we need to find. Now again, this part is arbitrary. So on this arc, however big you drew it, we just pick a point on there and it doesn't matter where it's at. So you have absolute freedom to pick a point. Now we have point B, we have point D, we've got point A. We're gonna take our uh, compass, we're gonna make an arc from B over into this blank space, and then we're gonna make an arc from D that intercepts that. And this intersection here, we're gonna call point C. So now we can kind of see this rhombus start to take shape. So we have from A to B, we're gonna make a segment. From B to C, we are going to make a segment. And from C to D, we're going to make another segment. And that is our rhombus. So if we kept our compass set to the same setting, these, excuse me, these side lengths are all the same. And this side and this side are parallel. And if that's true, if opposite sides are congruent and one pair of sides are parallel, we know that we have a parallelogram. And if we have a parallelogram that has four um, congruent sides, we know that that is a rhombus. So this is the way to construct a rhombus with a given side length. If you have any questions, comments, points of clarification, you can leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.